Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to show you how to update a module with Drupal 7. So if you remember in the last tutorial, when we were in one of our menus here, there was a uh, red error message that came up. Here it is, and it says uh, security updates are available. So this won't pop up if there's little minor updates for your modules, but if there is a security update available, um, this error will pop up. So if we click here for available updates, it's going to show us what needs updating. So a lot of times there might be a big old list and some of them will be red and others will be not. And of course, the red ones are going to be the security updates and the ones you need to handle urgently. So typically you're going to want to not update this module on a production site because there's always a chance that let's say you update a module and either you did it wrong or the module was buggy for some reason, which it shouldn't be. Um, let me just state that that is a rare, rare case. Um, but let's just say something happens when you're updating this module and your whole site goes down. Um, that is a problem because when you update these things, it's going to write to the database. And uh, it's basically you could be setting yourself up for a lot of headache if you update something and it breaks your whole site and you don't have a copy so let me strongly urge you to take a backup of your site um, before you do this and do not update the module on your live site so since this is a copy on my local system and let's just say i've already taken a backup of the database um, so the strictly updating a module what you're going to do here is from this page you can click um, to go to the chaos tools page for this is the module that needs updating and then you can click zip and download the latest version so we'll just click down download for your module this is pretty much the way i always do it anyways unless i'm using something like drush which is um, a extension to like a command line extension to drupal that allows you to do things like make installations of Drupal and download modules and everything really easy, all sorts of stuff. I mean, I would Google around for Drush. We'll be getting into some Drush tutorials eventually, but that's more on the advanced side of Drupal. So let's browse to our site and ST. Okay, we're gonna go to sites, all, and then modules. And then here we have just the modules that we've installed. And just like when we installed them, you're gonna click and drag your folder into the module page or the module folder. So we're gonna, it's asking if you wanna replace this. You're gonna wanna replace the whole file. That's your password, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is replacing the entire uh, CTools module. Now if we go back to our um, site and we browse to the, the page, update.php, hit enter, it's going to take you to this uh, updating page, and this is going to basically update your database with the changes in the module. Okay, so sometimes, uh, let's say you've installed a new module that doesn't require database updates. Um, it'll say, no pending updates. Perfect. Okay, that's nice and easy, because now that means we don't have to run anything. However, um, because some modules do require uh, database updates, it's always good to check this update.php after you've installed an update. And then in this case, there'll just be a click to continue button. You click continue, it'll run through the update, and that'll be it. So if we browse back to our site, um, it's going to say we're in maintenance mode. Let's go online because this module has been updated. And save configuration. Okay. Okay, our site's no longer in maintenance mode. And if we go to modules, you receive we are no longer getting an error about C tools needing an update. Okay, well that's how to update a module manually with Drupal 7. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter at LevelUpTuts. Once again, this is Scott with LevelUpTuts and thanks for watching, bye.